Hi, so today we'll be taking a look at the destructible meshes in Unreal Editor and we'll be using the import fbx chunks. So just to make things easier, you want to download and install the shooter game again, uh, just so we can easily destroy the mesh. You can do that by going to learn and go down to the shooter game and just download and install it. If it's installed, open it. I already have my project set up. So just go to File, New Level, and open up a default one. So this will basically just create a ground and a player start for you and some lighting. So we have everything we need. And this tutorial will be creating a road sign that's going to be destroyed when we hit it. Uh, for this example with our character, but if you're making a racing game, you can uh, drive against it with your car and the sign will fly into pieces. Um, so yeah, it's cool. So open up your 3D modeling software. I'm using 3ds Max and I basically already created some meshes. Um, so this is my clean road sign. And this is my destroyed one. And basically, your destroyed one, you want to um, detach every element that's going to be uh, fall apart. So you want every uh, piece that's going to crumble away from your object or, or, or fly away, whatever, to be a different mesh. Um, so let's export my clean non-damaged one first. Export selected and let's call it sign. Okay. And now for our damaged mesh, you want to select all the different meshes you want exported and go to export, export selected, and let's call it sign damaged. So for your damaged mesh, again, you want to make every piece that's going to fly away separately as a separate mesh, but export it as one FBX file. Okay, let's, so let's open up Unreal again and drag in your non-damaged mesh. So for me, it's the sign mesh. Drag it in, import. Okay, it also imports the material, so I just delete them, I don't need them. And now to create the destructible mesh, we're going to right click the mesh, the static mesh, and create destructible mesh right here. So this will create a duplicate, um, but not exactly a duplicate because this is our destructible mesh. You can see it by, it automatically generates the name, just this name, but underscore DM at the end which stands for destructible mesh. And it will also automatically open up the destructible mesh editor. If it doesn't open for some reason, just double click it and it will open up. So now we can see our just clean non-damaged mesh. And how do we get our damaged mesh in here? Just go to import FBX chunks. Let's click this and click your damaged mesh for my Example, it's sign damaged. So open it up. And now we see our damaged mesh. You can also notice the preview depth has changed to preview depth one. And if we go back to preview depth zero, we can see our non-damaged mesh. If we go to preview depth one, we can see our damaged mesh. So, okay, let's save it. Let's close it. And we'll drag in our destructible mesh in the scene. And let's play. So now if we drive or walk against it, we want it to be destroyed, but that's obviously not happening right now. Uh, but if we shoot it, it will still get destroyed. So okay, we want it to be destroyed when we walk or drive against it. So open up our destructible mesh again, and here we see an option that's called enable impact damage. 
going to activate this and what is this going to do is basically detect any collision with this mesh and um, this, uh, it's going to be uh, receiving damage according to this impact. Um, okay, so let's close it. Let's, let's try it again. We now walk against it. Yep, it gets destroyed. So that's basically it. Now we just want to change some materials because it has no materials assigned. So yeah, we want to do that. Open up your destructible mesh again. And let's go down to skeletal mesh. And here we see some elements. And basically our first elements are going to be the materials for our first mesh and the last elements are going to be the elements of our second mesh. Um, normally you'll only have two elements in right here. Uh, the first element for your from your first mesh and the second element for your from your second mesh. But I've got meshes with multiple uh, materials assigned to them so I have a bunch more. <laughs> so for the first one I'm just going to assign a metal for the pole and the backside of the of the sign itself. And I've got the material already set up right here for the front of the sign. And let's go down. Now these are the materials for our second mesh. So again, I want a metal for the pole and for the sign itself. Oh, that's a sign I believe. For the sign itself, I want a sign material. Um, by the way, you can change the lighting by pressing L and click and dragging into your viewport. So that might be useful. Okay, cool. The materials are assigned. So save it again and let's check it out. So, okay, it's working, cool, but you see the destructible mesh collapses into different pieces and yeah, maybe that's not what you want. Maybe you want the mesh to be destroyed but not collapse and, and fly into different parts. And you can do this, but not by using the destructible meshes, I'm afraid. So if you want this result, you can just create a new blueprint. It's going to be a very simple basic blueprint so don't be afraid it only take two minutes. So we're gonna right click in the content browser and create a new blueprint. And we're gonna use the actor and just call it um, destructible. So we're gonna open up the blueprint and what we are going to do in this blueprint is basically um, set up a mesh and if we apply any damage to it, it will be replaced by another mesh. So we're going to do this by going to construction scripts and we'll create a new component by clicking add new component or add component and type in static mesh. So this is this will be the mesh that's going to be visible in our in our game. So let's call it visible mesh. Okay. And we're gonna go down to variables, and here we're gonna create another variable by clicking the variable sign, and let's call it um, base mesh. Uh, by default it will be an integer or boolean apparently, but we want to change this to a static mesh. Okay. And here we see a little icon with a closed eye and we want to click it to make the variable from a private one to a public one. So we can change this variable inside of the editor. So let's just quickly check it out what I mean with this. So close down the blueprint and let's go back into the editor and drag out the blueprint inside of the editor. Um, apparently we haven't saved it or something. So open up your blueprint again. Uh, yeah, you have to compile it first. So 
just gonna close the destructible. And now we see base mesh right here. This is our, this is our public variable. So now we can drag in our sign mesh again. And let's open up the destructible blueprint again. And we're gonna create some stuff right here. So drag in the visible mesh and it's automatically going to be a get. Uh, you can hold alt to uh, get a set or hold control to get a get. So we want a get one. And so let's drag this out and type in set static mesh. And connect the construction script with a set static mesh. And now for new mesh, we want to drag out the base mesh, which is also going to be a get, and plug it in. So basically, now when the game is started up, the construction script will call the set static mesh and change the visible mesh to our base mesh, which is whatever you plug in right here in the in the game itself. Okay, compile. So now if we check it out in here, we should already see the mesh we have plugged in right here. Okay, open up the destructible again and go to event graph. Uh, we don't need those, so just delete them. And we want to create a new variable, again a static mesh, so we can just click the one we have already and duplicate this and let's call it damaged mesh. Okay, now we're going to right click here and type event any damage. And let's drag in the visible mesh again. And again, set static mesh. So we get this one again. But now we're not going to use the base mesh, but we're going to use the damaged mesh. Drag in, get, and plug it in into the new mesh and connect this to event any damage. So if the blueprint now gets any damage, this visible mesh will be replaced by our, by our damaged mesh. So that's it. Let's close it down again. Let's play. Now check out the difference between our blueprint and our real destructible mesh. So if we shoot it now, oh, I've forgotten something. We also have to plug in something in the damaged mesh. So we're gonna go open up our folders again and drag and drop our damaged mesh into our content browser. Okay, import. And now drag in your damaged mesh into the damaged mesh slot of your blueprint. Just gonna delete those materials again, don't need them. Okay, if we now this it out. This is our blueprint, so if we shoot it, it will be just be replaced by uh, your damaged mesh. And the destructible one is going to be flying into different pieces, but this will just be standing there and not moving, so this is not a physics mesh. Uh, maybe you want that for um, meshes you want to have destroyed but not be able to move. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, let's also quickly change the materials for this mesh because yeah, it's a little bit dull right now. So you can just open up your meshes and just assign the materials right here. Okay, again for this one, nope. Okay, so let's test it out again. So, okay, that's it.